Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about this palette right here. This is the KKW and Mario palette. But before we jump right to it, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it. That way you can get notifications whenever I upload new videos, which I do a lot of beauty reviews and tutorials. So definitely check out my past videos. And I know what you guys are thinking. If you guys have been to my channel before, you're probably thinking what happened to the backdrop. I did clean out everything. So I do have my drawers in the background and I hope that this is okay. I hope you guys like it. I feel like it's a little bit more homey. So I'm probably going to put a little bit more stuff in there. So I'm going to put like something on a wall or writing or something. But um, for now, this is as good as it's going to go. And I hope you guys also like the lens. This is a new lens that I am using. And I hope that you guys like it. And Anyway, if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I do a lot of beauty reviews, but I'm also doing a giveaway here and I'm currently doing a giveaway on my Instagram. So follow me there because you might actually win. Hmm. All right. All right, guys. So if you guys haven't heard yet, Mario collaborated with Kim Kardashian or Kim Kardashian collaborated with Mario or they collaborated together. And Mario did Ivanovic. If you guys don't know who he is, he is a really big... Uh, makeup artist in the beauty industry he created a lot of Kim Kardashian's famous looks in the red carpet if you guys like pick like one of the Kim Kardashian's makeup look it's probably Mario's creation so he is absolutely amazing talented love him and also not to take away from Kim Kardashian I love Kim Kardashian as well I feel like she is such a beautiful girl and her looks are absolutely stunning so yeah i mean what is not to love all right so this is what the palette looks like so this is how skinny it is it actually is very sleek and it is in a cardboard packaging it does remind me a lot of the uh rock uh pro palette packaging that's what it reminds me of it, it feels exactly the same i mean like the layout of it is the same as far as the carpet packaging goes and yeah i mean like the back here it has a sticker of the names of the shades and the sizing of this palette it says 10 by 0 0.06 ounces and this is made in the usa so this contains 10 eyeshadows in here which it looks like this so the palette looks absolutely stunning and it also has a nice size mirror so if you guys are traveling this is absolutely great it's very handy so i did bring this at beauty con and i i did use it for about a week and i did like it i don't love it but i do like it i'm gonna tell you why so when you do purchase these pens individually they come to four dollars and twenty cents a pan so Again, it's $42, but I had to pay like $9 shipping and handling. I think this came from California, so shipping and handling, they were charging me $9 and it came like a week after I ordered it. So it basically was a $50 palette. And if it's a $50 palette, you guys better love it. I mean, if you do live like somewhere closer to California, your shipping and handling is probably not gonna be that bad but because I live across the country they I had to pay nine dollars so imagine if you live in Canada or if you live internationally I don't even know how much you would pay for shipping and handling just buying Kim Kardashian's palette anyway so this is what the palette looks like so comparing this to the Mario and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette so Mario also created a palette and collaborated with Anastasia Beverly Hills so this is what it looks like so comparing this it looks absolutely absolutely different and you know why I feel like with this palette my eyes is going straight to that blue so if you do take that blue out I feel like it, this two palettes are very very similar as far as the earth toned shades that are included in these two palettes so I feel like the only difference between these two is this shade right here so as far as so these are finger swatches as you can see it looks really really beautiful the payoff is amazing so the matte shades in here are stunning so they blend it on the lids really nicely they're absolutely amazing very easy to work with very very little fallout now the shimmery shades in here they're good but the shade right here 
it's a little chunky. This silver shade right here, which is called 2008. This is a little chunky. Make sure you apply this wet in your brush and it will be okay. So this shade right here, this one is called Vegas. It is an absolutely beautiful, like plummy uh, shade and it looks really, really nice. However, I feel like the payoff of this, you have to really work with it. Uh, and this blue shade right here. So I did a look using these two shades. So as you can see, like the shade in here, you, it's not gonna be the same payoff as what you're seeing in here. You have to work to get that color right there. So this bronzy shade looks absolutely beautiful, blended really nicely, payoff is super, super amazing. But like I said, these two shades right here and this shade, I do feel like it didn't deliver. This palette is not $42, it is a $45 palette. So for a $45 palette, I'm not sure if this is something that I would really spend my money on. Um, it, it is expensive, really, it is. And if this is the only palette that you're gonna be using though, yeah, I guess it's okay to spend that $45, but if you do have a lot of these shades in your collection, I probably wouldn't recommend this because these colors, you can actually get them from other palettes and I feel like, you know, you these are like earth tone shades that are very common in other palettes so I, I don't I can't really justify recommending this with these two shades that are not there so I don't know that's just my opinion and you know it didn't work for me but I hope that if you do get this I hope that it would work for you and you don't waste the money like I all right, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Like I said, I am doing a giveaway over there right now. And also comment down in the comment section below. Let me know if this palette is good, if it worked for you, if you liked it, what type of uh, technique did you use to get the payoff. And yeah, just let me know. And I will see you guys again in my next video. I cannot wait. I love you all. Bye.